Now an NDTV exclusive. Sources have told NDTV Solicitor General Mohan Parasaran has expressed his disagreement with the opinion of the CBI director who reportedly favours dropping three pending fodder scam cases against RJD Chief Lalu Prasad Yadav. The opinion of the Solicitor General was sought as there was a difference of opinion between the CBI director and CBI's director of prosecution. Sources say the Solicitor General has conveyed that it is not appropriate for the CBI chief to decide on dropping charges in this manner, while CBI boss Ranjit Sinha seems to think that Lalu cannot be retried for the same offence. Remember, Lalu has already been convicted and sentenced to five years in jail in one of the fodder scam cases and he is in fact currently out on bail. कि जब एक केस में हमको आपने सेम एंड सिमिलर चार्जेस पर आपने हमको पनिश कर दिया जो हमारा अपील है तो आप सारे केसों को कहीं भी पैसा लेने का हमारा आधार नहीं है हम राशि कोर्ट में हम फाइल किए हैं अंडर सेक्शन 300 दिस इज अ वन लीगल इशू व्हिच वी आर फॉर विथ व्हिच वी हैव मूव्ड टू द हाई कोर्ट and uh, I'm arguing pretty much in, on the same line in which what uh, Lalu Prasadji was speaking right now or what the CBI director, I'm told, has conveyed. Now, this is one issue. Now, in fact, you need to wait for the legal opinion. I, I, we were told, in fact, by Indian Express news item that Mr. Bhanavati has to give his opinion. Now, why this comes time and again during election time? I, I, I also, um, we are alarmed at the fact that this, this one issue, which is predominantly legal in nature, legal fraternity has to, legal acumen has to decide about it. If we make a case out of it, that too during the election time when the first, first date of election is just on 10th of April, hardly any time. So we somewhere feel that there, there is a, there is a, there is a uh, very strong uh, posturing by some of our adversaries. They want the election to shift on this. Let's now go across to my colleague A. Vedya Nathan, who broke that story a short while ago. Vedya, uh, the RJD is crying foul, calling it a political conspiracy. The CBI chief seems to think Lalu cannot be tried again for the same offence. But now that the Solicitor General has expressed his disagreement, how is this likely to play out legally? As for legal issue is concerned, now the, only the trial court will have to decide because Lalu's petition is already pending. Lalu, before the court said that once he has been convicted, same witnesses, same charges, how can he be convicted for a number of times which will be double jeopardy in illegal parlance. So he says that. But interestingly, the CBA director also took Lalu's view, but director of prosecution CBA says that this same issue, when Lalu went to the Supreme Court seeking amalgamation of all the cases, uh, because uh, same charge of conspiracy, Supreme Court said nothing doing because conspiracy is only an allied angle, but the rest of the charges are uh, dis I mean, siphoning of money from different uh, treasuries, so it won't be amalgamated. So that is the stand taken by the CBI uh, Director of Prosecution. Now it came to the uh, Solicitor General for his opinion. Solicitor General, instead of going into the merits of the case, he plainly said, he can't go into this issue because it's before the court. Whatever CBA wants to argue, it can argue before the court. Even if he gives an opinion, it will be subject to the decision of the court, which is hearing Lalu's petition, and he plainly refused, saying, saying that only court can decide the issue. But only question mark is, why should uh, the CBA director at this time when the election is just scheduled to happen in April take Lalu's view in, the, in this matter?